Hey, my name is Stan Fraser, and I'm the drummer in Sugar Ray. I just want to fly on the corner of my girlfriend's for someday. For the past 15 years, I've been touring with the band and playing my music all over the world. But for as long as I can remember, I've been cooking. One of my favorite things to do is to cook with my best friend Dave and surprise people with our creations. I've had the pleasure of meeting rock stars, athletes, and actors everywhere. We're gonna drop by some of their cribs unexpectedly and drop off our creations. This is Chop and Roll. We're taking our food down to our friend McGee. He's the guy on the far right right there. This bout says it all. He's a director of movies. She just got done filming Terminator 4 out in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. He's tired, he's hungry. We are going to bring him a beautiful bruschetta, whipped potatoes infused with porcini mushroom oil, and a meatloaf with caramelized onions and goat cheese, and it's gonna knock his socks off. In fact, it's gonna knock these blue panties off. Okay, we're cutting the bread for the, for the bruschetta. I am uh, Dr. David J. Warm, a general dentist. friend of Stan Frazier. I love cooking and I've been playing guitar for a while. We love to cook and we love to rock and we love to jam. So basically for today's potatoes, we're good. Who the hell is that? Hey, we've got Dave Jaywar on the phone trying to get in touch with McGee. McGee's got several assistants and he never returns phone calls. This ought to be interesting. We got to see if we can track him down. Okay, so we're going to put the meatloaf together, okay? To the sky then we slide. Tell me down, baby. We've got our meatloaf. We got our meatloaf. We got our meatloaf. <laughs> Dave, what's sexier, this or this? Definitely that. <laughs> the meatloaf. We're getting ready to go down to cheese to drop this stuff off. Dave, can you help me garnish sure. the uh, meatloaf? I like to let Dave garnish the meatloaf because he lived in Europe and he has a little fancy. He, yeah, he's got a good way of doing stuff. You guys, so check it out. We are finally assembled. We have chopped. We are about to roll. We prepped. The food is in the car, ready to go, warmed up, ready for McGee. Dave, are you ready? I'm all set. We got bruschetta, we got mashed potatoes, we have meatloaf. <laughs> all right, so we're, we're down in Newport Beach, California. One of the most beautiful picturesque spots in the world is the Balboa Island ferry boat that takes you over to the peninsula. McGee lives over on the peninsula in an undisclosed address. We're gonna go over the ferry boat, we're gonna have a little uh, snack in the car, we're gonna go present the food to him. So that's where we are. All right, we have arrived. All right, here we go. We are now on the Babylon Peninsula side of Newport Beach, going to drop off our goods. Stand, buckle up. Oh, screw it. Who likes garlic? Who doesn't like garlic? My in-laws don't like garlic. That's who doesn't like garlic. Okay. That's the bruschetta right there. Let's put our topping on it. We have a tomato basil topping. It's going to be really good. Uh, heirloom tomatoes with basil and uh, sea salt. Very simple. And we're going to top it off with a little Parmigiano Reggiano. All right. We're going to plate up the bruschetta. It's sort of a uh, unorthodox presentation, but that's how we are uh, rolling in this chop and roll episode. Here we go. Let's do... Let's create a little space. Try not to get it in, in, into the... Yeah. Into the Oh, who gives a shit? Throw it everywhere. Pomodoro bruschetta for my friend Michi. Heirloom tomato. All right, Michi, this is the moment of truth. This is pretty good. <laughs> It's 
sophisticated for my taste, but it's really very good. But my view from the Hollywood well, makes me feel like I can fly. Stan doesn't have a spatula, so he's improvising, adapting, and overcoming the challenges. That's okay. That's, I'm a domestic failure, and I don't have anything to cook with. Is that this is comfort food. This is what we wanted to make for McCheese. Stan, Stan, guess what? What? If my credit <laughs> Can I eat it before it gets cold? Yes, yes. This is good. Where are we going for dinner? <laughs> it's delicious. It's really good. Did you, get, you guys put the egg. <laughs> oh, wow. I keep in my Duran Duran. Don't hate me because I'm tasty. Oh, also sealed. Is that really sealed? Yeah. Let me see. For your perusal. Yeah. <laughs> Dropping it off the meat though. Anyway, I think we, what we've done today is sophisticated McGee's palate a, a slight bit further. Even though we had comfort food, it was just meatloaf and mashed potatoes, we souped it up a little bit. He really liked the bruschetta, and I think mission accomplished. Cheers. Thank you guys, that was really delicious. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, man. Thanks, that was good. Are you okay on the ferry on the way back? We're good. good. You're not gonna stab yourself? Okay, we gotta start planning our next menu. See ya. Right, see you guys Thanks, later. Thanks, guys. Take care, That's great, man. Water was great. That was a great meal. I thought Stan and I were, uh, I guess, a hit with McG. He seemed to like it. He likes to eat. And uh, I think it was perfect for his palate. I think it was. Sophisticated, but not that sophisticated, and uh, <clears> that <throat> was great. I think Stan did a great job. His meatloaf always, always just kicks ass. Here he is right now. So today, today went great. It's the maiden voyage of chop and roll. Michi was there. He really liked the food, most importantly, and uh, you know we had a great time doing it. And you know we're going to continue to do these, and it's going to be awesome. And we're going to step up the menus and go meet more people and take our food to the masses. Right. Know what I mean?